let's start the session not for profit organization now what do you mean by not for profit organization profit is not their motive okay normally there are two types of organization one is profit oriented organization another one is called not for profit organization so definitely instead of profit they used to call surplus so they have a receipts they have a payments similarly they have income they have expenditure so excess of income over expenditure is called surplus excess of expense over income is called deficit so there are certain organization profit is not their motive okay so those organizations are called not for profit organization especially they are providing services to its members and public in general example for not for profit organizations clubs charitable institutions schools colleges religious institutions trade unions welfare society going on so not for profit means profit is not their motive okay so they are not usually involving any trading activity instead of trading activity they involve only in rendering services to members and society so that's why they are called not for profit organization that's it let's see the features of accounting for not for profit organization so what are the features are available in not for profit organization the main objective they have to render services to the members and the public number 1 number 2 they are not engaging in any trading activities correct no that's the main feature number 3 they are not expecting to earn profit so what they want they some they want some income they want some expenditure the difference is called either surplus or surplus or we can call it as deficit deficit so profit is not main motive okay number 4 credit transactions are not usually made so there is no credit transactions in not for profit in trading organization you have credit transactions there is a cash sales and credit sales but in case of non for profit organization there is no credit there is no cash transaction purely there is no there is no credit transactions purely uh, cash transactions only okay so credit transactions are not usually made not usually made sometimes it happened but not usually made number 5 no trial balance is required to prepare here non profit organization they do not prefer any trading account and profit loss account because they are not doing any trading no so they are not preparing any trading account and profit loss account number 7 number 7 similarly there is a executive committee for a charity for a trust for a college for a school they will manage the affairs so there are for in case of club it is elected the executive committee will be elected by the members so they can look at looking after all the affairs of the club or charitable institution that's it let's see according requirements of non profit organization okay so not normally not for profit organization so profit is not their motive correct no but they even though they want to prepare some accounts what are the accounts generally they will prepare receipts and payment account that is generally called cash book in trading organization in trading organization we are preparing cash book no here we are going to call it as receipts and payments account number 2 income and expenditure account in non profit organization this is generally trading and profit loss account in trading organization in trading organization it is going to be trading and profit loss account in non profit is going to be income and expenditure account so non profit third one balance sheet they will prefer trading organization also they will prefer balance sheet okay so what are the three accounts they will normally prefer three statement or normally prefer number one receipts and payments account number two income and expenditure account number three balance sheet okay receipts and payments account is just like cash book in trading organization number two income and expenditure account is just like trading and payment account in trading organization number three here also they will prefer balance sheet what is the liability of the club or the charitable institutions or school or what is the assets of the club charitable institution they will prepare you let's see what is receipts and payments account receipts and payments account is just like a real account just like a real account real account is a real account just like a cash book in trading organization all the receipts to be entered all the payments to be entered that's it so whenever club or school or college receiving any cash it is to be entered whenever they making any payment it is to be entered it is purely receipt debit side payment credit side to be entered entered that's it. this is just like cash book so similarly they are having opening cash opening bank account similarly they have a closing cash and closing bank account that's it sometimes they have overdraft balance also if it is a overdraft balance normally it is going to be credit balance odb is always credit balance so starting point is always buy buy if it is a closing overdraft means two two so cash opening two cash closing buy od opening buy od closing two that's it let's see what are the features of receipts and payments account receipts and payments account is a real account correct no debit what comes in credit what goes in correct it's a real account number 1 number 2 it is a summary of cash book yes what are the cash we have left over no so after making all the payments it is to be shown correct no it is a summary of cash book right all the receipts are debited and all the payments are credited that's true that's true similarly here we are going to open cash and we have to close cash we have to open bank we have to close bank what is opening cash two balance brought down what is opening cash or closing cash by balance carried down what is opening bank two balance brought down what is closing bank by balance carried down 
So what are the cash or bank? It is left over at the end of the period. It is called buy balance carry down cash, buy balance carry down bank. Similarly, the working result. Normally here you are not supposed to disclose any working results for the concern. How much? What is the working nature? No, working results cannot be shown. Here only we have to prepare the three accounts. Okay, that's it. We need not close the working results. Day to day affairs, you need not close everything here. It includes all the receipts and payments, whether it's a capital receipt or capital expenditure, or revenue receipt or revenue expenditure to be recorded. To be recorded. So we'll see later on what is capital receipt, what is capital expenditure, what is revenue receipt, what is revenue expenditure. Later on we'll see. It records all the receipts and payments of previous year and subsequently also to be entered. Similarly, it is going to record the payments of previous year, current year, and next year to be entered. That's it. Let's see. What is income and expenditure account? This is just like. In trading concern, trading and profit loss account. Here we are going to prepare in non-profit organization income and expenditure account, right? So normally we have income to be recognized for the current year, expenditure for the current year to be recognized. If the income is more than expenditure, here we used to call it as surplus. If expenditure is more than income, we are used to call deficit. Deficit. If the surplus or deficit is transferred to capital account, if there is a surplus, it is added to the capital in the balance sheet. If there is a deficit. It is subtracted from the capital from the in the balance sheet. That's it. Let's see the features of income and expenditure account. It's a nominal account. Debit all losses and expenses, credit all in incomes and gains. Number two, it is only revenue items are recorded. Perfect. No capital items to be recorded income and expenditure account. No capital expenditure, no capital receipt to be entered. To be entered. Only revenue expenditure, revenue receipts to be entered in the income and expenditure. That too also only for current year only to be included. Not previous year, not next year. Only current year income, only current year expenditure to be included. Similarly, non-cash transaction also belongs to current year to be entered. For example, depreciation of a plant and machinery, a depreciation any furniture or any machine or any AC something no to be entered, to be entered. Pressure for bad debts say to be entered, to be adjusted. Accrued income or any prepaid expenses to be adjusted, to be adjusted. There is no closing balance in this account because the difference is called either surplus or deficit. If the income is more than expenditure, it is called surplus. The expenditure is more than income, it is called deficit. The balance of surplus or deficit transferred to capital fund. If it is a surplus, it is added to the capital. If it is a deficit, it is subtracted from the capital. That's it. Now let's see preparation of income and expenditure account. The following steps are to be followed for preparing the income and expenditure account. Okay. First step: receipts and payments you have to prepare. After that, income and expenditure account you have to prepare. After that, balance sheet will be prepared. So, so for the receipts and payments account only, we have to prepare income and expenditure account. So, you have to carefully read the receipts and payments account thoroughly. Okay, because sometimes the opening cash, opening bank available in the receipts and payments account. Similarly, closing cash, closing bank available receipts and payments account. Those items are to be excluded. Those items to be excluded because opening cash, opening bank, last year balance sheet items, closing cash, closing bank item, current year balance sheet item. There is no purpose to be solved in income tax. Those those items are excluded. Similarly, capital receipt to be excluded. What is capital receipt? Asset sold or capital raised to be excluded. What is capital payment? Capital payment repayment of liability, repayment of liability. Okay, repayment of liability. So it is going to be capital expenditure, capital expenditure or purchase of any asset, purchase of any asset, purchase of any assets. So repayment of loan or purchase of any assets is called capital payment. So those items to be excluded, excluded. Only revenue item, revenue income, revenue expenditure of current year, current year to be entered in income and expenditure account. Okay, so only revenue expenditure, revenue receipts of current year only to be included. Last year, next year to be excluded. Similarly, non-cash items that is depreciation, pension for bad debts, accrued income, or any income on profit on sale of fixed assets, or any loss on sale of fixed assets to be adjusted, to be entered. So finally, there is income excess of If excess of income over expenditure is called surplus to be transferred to capital account to be added. If there is any excess of expenditure over income, it is called deficit to be subtracted from capital fund. That's it. Let's see balance sheet. The final stage of non-profit organization after preparing receipts and payments account, after preparing income and expenditure account, finally they have to show what is their assets, what is the liability at the end of the year. It is called balance sheet. So left hand side normally used to call liability in the balance sheet. Right hand side we used to call assets. Assets. So in the liability side, you are opening capital fund with the surplus or minus deficit to be adjusted. Similarly, if there is so okay, so what are the uh, coming from income tax fund? Surplus to be added to the capital fund or deficit to be subtracted from the capital fund. Okay. Similarly, outstanding expenses, liability item, income reserve advance, liability item, accrued income, 
asset item, prepaid expenses, asset item to be entered. That's it. Income receivable. Similarly, income expenses, in, in expenses paid in advance to be shown in the asset side. That is accrued income and prepaid expenses to, to be shown in the asset side. Similarly, closing cash in and closing cash in bank, closing cash in bank, receipts and payments account end, end to be shown in the asset side. Asset side. Similarly, if there is any credit balance of receipts and payments account in the end, end to be shown in the liability side. Liability side. Okay. Similarly, whenever any assets are acquired, you can check it out the receipts and payments account. Finally, those assets are to be transferred to asset side. Asset side. Similarly, similarly, any capital, any fund, specific fund received from the members. So we have to separately create the fund account in the liability side. So don't touch the fund account unless until it is specifically mentioned for that fund only. Suppose tournament fund is created, the tournament fund to be opened in the liability side. Is there any interest, is there any expenses of the tournament fund that is to be adjusted? That is to be adjusted. Is there any income to the tournament fund? It is to be added. That's it. So specific fund, non-recurring nature, always capital item only to be entered in the liability side in the name of fund. Example, tournament fund, price fund, donation fund, building fund, just like this. That's it. Let's see. Difference between receipts and payments account and income and expense account. Receipts and payments account simply called cash book in trading organization. Income and expense account simply called P&L account, trading and P&L account in uh, profit organization. Okay. So, receipts and payments account, income and account differences. First, receipts and payments account is a real account. Correct? No. Debit what comes in, credit what goes out. Real account. But income and expense account purely nominal account. Debit all losses and expenses, credit all incomes and gains. Receipts and payments account is a summary of cash book. That's true. It is a summary of profit and loss account. That's true. Here the debit side, receipt and payment account, debit side shows receipt, receipt of cash. Credit side shows payment of cash. But income and expense account, debit shows expenses of the current year. Credit side, incomes and gains of current year. Receipt and payments account, it is always starting with opening cash, opening bank. Similarly, closing cash, closing bank to be shown in receipt and payments account. But income and expense account does not start with any opening. But after in, uh, excess of income or expenditure is called surplus, excess of expenditure or income is called deficit. That's it. Receipts and payments account records receipts and payments accounts of current year, previous year and succeeding year. But income and expenditure account recording only current year income and current year expenditure only to be recorded. Previous income, previous expenditure, next year income, next year expenditure to be excluded, to be excluded. In income and expenditure account, current year income, current year expense only to be recorded. That's it. Let's see. Non-cash transactions are not made, not made. So purely non-cash because receipts and payments account purely cash, purely cash. There is a non-cash should not be entered. But in case of income expenditure account, non-cash transactions are entered. Example, depreciation, non-cash to be entered. Profit on loss, profit or loss on sale of asset to be entered, non-cash transaction. So income and expenditure account is including non-cash transactions also. Example, depreciation or profit on sale of assets or loss on sale of assets. Receipts and payments account, closing balance is carried to the succeeding year. So, current year closing cash, current year closing bank, next year opening cash, next year opening bank. But in case of income and expenditure account, there is a closing balance, either risk of surplus, excess of income over expenditure, or deficit, excess of expenditure over income, it is transferred to the capital fund. Surplus added to the capital, deficit subtract from the capital. In case of receipts and payments account, it requires both revenue receipts and capital receipts, both revenue exp expenses and capital expenses or capital payments to be entered. In case of in case of income tax expenditure account, only revenue income, only revenue expenditure to be recorded. That's it. Let's see. What are items of receipts and payments account? The items of receipts and payments account may be classified as revenue receipts, capital receipts, revenue payments, and capital payments. We will see elaborately one by one later on. What is revenue receipts? What is capital receipts? What is revenue payments? What is capital payments? You are going to see one by one. Let's see. Number one, revenue receipts. What are revenue receipts? Say? This is the amount received by the organization on a recurring nature. It will comes always. Recurring nature. Recurring nature. Example, annual membership subscription from the members. Club is receiving, you know, it is revenue receipts. Similarly, admission fees. If it is not capitalized, if it is capitalized, it is a liability item. If it is not capitalized, it is income item. So, admission fees, if it is not capitalized, if it is not liability item, then it is income item. Income item means you have to post the income side. Okay. So, it is revenue receipts. Similarly, sale of old newspaper and magazine, revenue receipts. Similarly, hall rent received by the club or charitable organization is the revenue received, recurring nature. Similarly, interest on investment, interest on fixed deposit, interest on loan given, advanced revenue receipts. Similarly, donations, grants, legacies, 
legacy is a, is a revenue exception sometimes oh, what is legacy is a, legacy is a, as per will of the deceased person a person died he wrote a will he wrote a will okay so automatically the charitable organization will receive the legacies like the legacies the legacy is a recurring nature revenue if it is a one time it is a capital asset it depends upon the case so if the, as per the will it is a recurring it is a it is a revenue receipt if it is one time it is a capital asset similarly locker rent received so clock room room rent received in a club or a sports club okay normally the room room a clock will be given clock room will be given so the players will come and they will take the they will pay the rent to the club okay so it's a revenue asset similarly sale of refreshment coffee snacks will be stored in the coffee club canteen okay that is also the revenue receipt for the club that's it let's see capital asset now what is capital asset okay see one time we have received okay one time we have received but the benefit we are going to get in future so one time we are getting it is called capital asset for example donation to outsiders for specific purpose or one time we are receiving capital asset amount received as a loans one time life member subscription if it is a one time capital asset recurring recurring revenue if it is a one time one time capital asset admission fees to the extent of capitalization suppose in admission fees 50% capitalization then liability 50% income then income side we have to post it all depends upon how the company how the club is going to treat the asset, admission fees similarly sale process of any assets one time capital asset capital asset cash comes in asset asset comes down legacy is for the specific purpose not for the general purpose specific purpose one time capital asset similarly we are receiving grant from the government for constructing a library building for a club it is a one time grant from the government for constructing a library building therefore capital asset the fund cannot be used for any purpose other than construction of library building so similarly any other receipts of capital nature if it is a capital nature it is a liability item so either liability to be increased or asset to be decreased capital asset revenue payments so this is recurring payments in nature at regular interval we have to make a payment example salary is a recurring nature wages paid is a recurring nature honorarium paid to the members is a recurring nature traveling and conveyance allowance recurring now what is honorarium we are honoring the members just the honorarium paid honoring the members honorarium paid so recurring nature traveling conveyance allowances recurring nature rent paid for the club recurring nature taxes insurance eb charges electricity printing and stationery postage telegram repair there is no telegram now so postage repair these are all recurring nature similar payments for so organize sports meets and tournaments recurring nature recurring nature refreshment dinner coffee tea for the club recurring nature interest paid on loan on bank overdraft recurring nature revenue nature revenue any payment related to revenue so revenue payments that's it let's see capital payments so these are the payments made during the current period during the current period okay fine so this is one time payment or in the nature of capital expenditure also a repayment of any loan is a capital payment or any asset created is a capital payment example construction expenses are asset created it is not regular nature it is a one time only so capital payment similarly purchase of extra set furniture office equipment capital payment any books purchased for library we creating asset capital payment any advance payment is given to the outsiders in the form of loan advance given to outsiders it is a capital payment capital payment advance given to outsiders is a capital payment similarly sports and equipment depreciable items are uh, depreciable items are uh, be invested in sports goods and equipments uh, the depreciable items are uh, so capital payments so any other payments of capital nature one time nature is a capital payment that's it let's see some other items so brief definition will do it so subscription normally if you get just going to become member of the club okay you have to pay subscription to the club for the club subscription is a always income always income so the subscription may be belongs to the last year or current year or next year the subscription may be received so next year subscription also may be received in the current year current year also received in the current year last year also received in the current year okay so subscription is always income is always income if it is the next year and previous year to be adjusted accordingly accordingly similarly similarly subscription for tournament fund also will come subscription for construction also will come it all depends upon the categories suppose any subscription towards tournament fund it is a capital nature any subscription towards a member is a revenue nature any subscription towards a construction of building is a capital nature so it should be comes under liability side number 2 donation so donation is a category is into two types of donations two kinds of donation one is specific donation another one is general donation specific donation suppose for example we received from the members donation for building 
Donation for library. Library. It is purely capital received. It is to be shown in the library design. It should not be used for any other purpose other than other than building construction, other than library donation, the library purpose. That's it. In case of general donation, it is generally we have received that money it should be to be shown in the income side, income side, income side. That money can be spent for any purpose. It is general donation. Similarly, grant we have received from the central government or state government or local bodies just like municipality corporation we may treat. It all depends upon the type of grant, type of grant. Suppose grant related to building, it is a capital receipt. Suppose grant related to income, it is a revenue receipt. It all depends upon the case to case basis. Let's see, legacy, legacy. As per will of the deceased person, a person died, he wrote a bill. So, particular club or charity organization receiving the legacies, legacies, okay, right. So, legacies of recurring nature, suppose as per will, it is a recurring amount is receiving by the club or charity institution, it is revenue or if it is a one time, one time, it is a capitalism. So, it is also depends upon the case to case basis. In the absence of any particular information, it is to be treated as a capital receipt. We can show it in the liability side, legacy received. Okay. Number 5, endowment fund. So, it is a fund specifically, we are just maintaining for support, support. So, endowment purpose only we are spending. So, endowment means any purpose, any class, any class. So, it is a capital set. Similarly, any fund comes, it is always capitalist. Any fund, endowment fund, capital fund, building fund, donation fund, okay, tournament fund, price fund, any fund is always capitalist. Right. Number 6, entrance fees, entrance fees. So, entrance fees also depends upon case to case basis. Suppose, sometimes entrance fees will be capitalized. Sometimes entrance fees will be revenue in nature, income side or partly capital, partly revenue. It depends upon the organization to treat it. Treat. So, normally according to the, suppose in the given problem, suppose entrance fees 10,000 received, 60% capitalized, that is 6,000 to be put in the liability side. 40% revenue, that is 4,000, you have to put it in the income side. So, definitely you have to carefully read the question, then you understand. Otherwise, you can give assumption, entrance fees revenue, entrance fees capital, you can assume. Number 7, sale of old assets. Sometimes old asset may be sold, sold. There is a profit or loss will arise. Either it is an income or expenditure. Similarly, okay. So, sale of old asset, old asset, old asset, it all depends upon. If there is any profit loss, it should be, profit comes, it is an income. The loss comes, it is an expenditure. So, any old asset sold, it is always capitalistic. Suppose, in case of sale of old newspapers or periodical, periodical, that is totally so, based papers, based periodicals, it is totally revenue income, revenue zips only, that's it. Let's see, expenditure of stock item. Suppose normally in a club or a charity organization, they have a stationary opening, closing will be available. Sports material in a club, bats, balls, it all depends upon. Therefore, it is called opening and closing. Accordingly, we have to close, okay. So, I am just going to open a separate ledger for this item. You come to know everything thoroughly, expenditure. Similarly, sale of scrap, grass in a club, it is an income. Okay, any scrap or grass item, in a club, if it is sold, it is a revenue income. So, life member fees, life member fees, so normally it is a capital receipt, it is a one time, unless until there is a, if there is any, something is given in the problem, you can treat accordingly. So, generally it is a capital item, it is a one time, one time. Suppose life member fees also, life member fees also is a recurring nature, if it is given in the problem, given in the problem, normally it is a one time. If it is given in the problem, recurring nature, it is a revenue, revenue. Any specific, specific purpose fund, example, tournament fund, charity fund, price fund, endowment fund, building fund. So, any amount received for a particular fund, it is always capital receipt, capital receipt. It is a liability item, liability item. It should not be transferred to income and expenditure account. Let us see different types of account format, account format. Number one, expense account format, expense account format, expense account format. Expense account, two balance brought down, brought down, brought down. That is prepaid expense, prepaid expense, opening, opening, OP means opening, opening, prepaid expense, opening. Similarly, buy balance carried on, buy balance carried on, prepaid expenses, closing, prepaid expenses, closing, closing, buy balance brought down, buy balance brought down, brought down, outstanding expenses, opening, outstanding expenses, opening, opening. Two balance carried on, two balance carried on, outstanding expenses closing, outstanding expenses closing, closing. So, prepaid expense means asset opening. 
pre-do expense closing means asset closing. Asset is always debit, no. So debit opening, debit closing. Similar outstanding is always liability, no. Liability, no. So liability is always credit opening, credit clo debit closing. That's it. Similarly, if there is any cash paid, if there is any cash paid, cash paid, okay. If there is any cash paid, so two cash paid, two cash paid, two cash paid. So how much you have to recognize as expense, expense by this is the expense by profit loss account by profit loss account by profit loss account. This is the expense account format. This is the expense account format. So this is a this is a expense account format, right? To cash paid by payment. This is the money to be transferred to payment account. If it is a trading concern, if it is a trading concern. So if it is a trading concern, by payment to cash to cash by payment to cash. If it is a trading concern, in case of non-profit, okay. Here the cash paid no to be replaced by the two cash paid no to be replaced by to be replaced by to be replaced by to be replaced by two two receipts a receipts a and a payment account receipts a and a payment account and a payment account so two cash paid in case of trading organization to receive some payments account in case of income and expenditure account by p and l in case of trading organization here by income and expenditure account by income and expenditure account in case of non profit organization non profit organization in case of non profit organization how the expense to be treated prepaid expense opening to prepaid expense closing by balance carried on outstanding expense opening by balance brought down liability opening to balance carried on outstanding expense closing closing to receipts and payments account that is cash paid cash paid by income and expense account that is a loss that is a loss suppose if there is a profit will comes now to p and l account to income and expense if there is a profit Two P and L or two expenditure. If there is a loss a by P and L or expense a by P and L or by income expenditure. That's it. Income account format. Income account format. Right. This is purely income account format. Income means subscription. Income means subscription. Income account format. Right. Two balance brought down. Two balance brought down. Two balance brought down. This is accrued. Accrued. Income accrued income opening accrued income opening by balance carried on by balance carried on accrued income accrued income closing accrued income closing accrued income closing by balance brought down by balance brought down so income received in advance. Opening income is advance opening. Two balance carried on. Two balance carried on. Two balance carried on. Income received received in advance closing closing liability closing. So income is advance opening liability opening liability closing. Accrued income opening asset opening accrued income closing asset closing. Buy buy receipts and payment account. Whatever be the cash we have received. Receipts and payments, R and P means receipts and payments account. This is cash received. Cash received. This cash may be belongs to last year, current year, and next year. Next year by receipts and payments account. Here it is going to be. This is the income to be recognized. This income to be recognized to income and expenditure account. To income and expenditure account. This is income to be recognized. This is income to be recognized. Let's see. Asset account, asset account format, asset account format, asset account. So two balance brought down, two balance brought down. Opening, opening, return down value. Opening WDV, opening return down value. Opening WDV. By balance carry down, carry down. Closing, closing WDV, closing WDV, closing WDV. Right. Any asset purchased, any asset purchased to bank, to bank, which means we have purchased, purchased some asset. We purchased some asset. By bank, by bank, by bank, we sold, we sold some assets. That cash, that cash. So it's called by bank, by bank, by bank. Similarly, similarly, there is a loss on sale. There is a loss on sale. There is a loss on sale. So by Income and expenditure account that is loss on sale. Loss on sale. Sometimes a profit on sale also happen. Profit on sale also happen. In that case, to income and 
expenditure account for my understanding profit on sale profit on sale profit on sale so depreciation to be adjusted depreciation to be adjusted by depreciation okay so depreciation to be adjusted that's it so this is the format this is the format of asset account the depreciation belongs to current year let's see from the following particulars related to silver point proper receipts and payment account for the year ending march 31st 2002 right receipts and payment what is opening cash balance for the company for the club silver point 1000 what is opening bank balance 7200 what is subscription they have so far collected for 99 they have collected 500 2000 they collected 7600 2001 they collected 900 so far 2000 up to the 2002 one year one financial year how much they are having 9000 9000 they so far collected so far collected in current year current year 9000 they collected out of 9000 500 belongs to 99th year 99 year 7600 belongs to 2000 year 900 belongs to 2001 year so all the three years now i collected now i collected 9000 i have a cash i have a cash sale of refreshment coffee tea snacks sold in the club 1000 entrance fees received 1000 cash comes in sale of old sports material 1000 cash comes in donation received from pavilion pavilion it is a capital receipt capital receipt anyway cash comes in cash comes in rent paid cash goes out sports material purchases cash goes out purchase of refreshment cash goes out expense of maintenance of tennis court cash goes out salary paid cash goes out so tennis court so club no they are having tennis court available so they maintain this good money goes out so cash goes out 2000 salary paid 2500 cash goes out tournament expenses cash goes out 2400 furniture purchased cash goes out 1500 office expenses cash goes out closing cash in hand they have a cash so the question is you are required to prepare receipts and payments account for the club year ending march 31st 2002 okay we will prefer now we will prefer now receipts receipts and payments account receipts and payments account for 31st year ma year 31st 2002 okay 31st march march 2002 31st march 2002 right yes they have available there right now 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 so debit side debit side credit side debit side purely receipt purely receipt credit side purely payment purely payment payment okay now they have opening cash 1000 they have opening bank 7200 right now both are opening so two balance brought down two balance brought down opening cash opening bank opening bank now what is the opening cash 1000 opening bank 7200 okay opening cash 1000 opening bank 7200 opening cash opening bank right let's see subscription collected for 99 2000 2000 all the three years now i collected how much cash i am having at present i am having at present 9000 correct no 9000 so two subscription two subscription subscription i have collected how much i have collected 99 99 i have collected rupees 500 2000 for two the year 2000 i collected 7600 7600 i collected 2001 2001 2001 rupees 900 i collected rupees 900 i collected 900 i collected so all together i have collected collected 9000 how much cash i am having at present at present 9000 9000 i am having at present right so sale of refreshment cash comes in cash comes in how much tea snacks coffee you no know, sold in the club club restaurant okay so how much 1000 1000 to sale of refreshments to sale of refreshments to sale of refreshments how much ma 1000 to sale of refreshments sale of refreshments 1000 1000 so to entrance fees to entrance fees entrance fees how much ma they received 1000 1000 cash comes in cash comes in cash comes in to sale of old sports material cash comes in 1200 to sale of old 
sports material all the sports material how much cash comes in ma how much cash comes in 1200 1200 to to donation received for pavilion 4600 to donation received for pavilion pavilion in a club pavilion means in a ground the bound is ground the the rest area is called pavilion okay fine pavilion donation of pavilion how much received ma 4000 4600 they have received they have received right so right next rent paid expense rent paid payment rent paid payment payment kindly check it out these are the receipts these are receipts rent paid by rent paid payment pay, how much payment rent paid 3000 payment by sports material purchases 4800 by sports material by sports material by sports material purchases 4800 4800 sports material purchases by purchase of refreshment 600 purchase of refreshment purchase of refreshment 600 600 by maintenance expenses 2000 by maintenance expenses 2000 by maintenance expenses 2000 2000 of tennis court 2000 by salary paid 2500 by salary paid salary paid 2500 2500 by tournament expenses by tournament expenses 2400 by tournament expenses paid Don't be excited. Paid two thousand four hundred. Cash goes out. Cash goes out. By furniture purchased thousand five hundred. By furniture purchased by furniture purchased thousand five hundred. By office expenses thousand two hundred. Thousand two hundred by closing cash in hand by closing cash in hand four hundred so by balance carried on so cash four hundred that's it make a tally make a tally receipt set should be always higher in this case in this case so total twenty five thousand will come credit side there is a deficit there is a amount shortage amount shortage so all the receipts are posted all the payment I posted. This is a bank balance. How much? Six thousand six hundred. Six thousand six hundred. Which means, which means we have cash at bank. We have cash at bank. Balance six thousand six hundred. Cash at bank. It is a bank balance. That's it. Let's see. From the receipts and payment account given below, proper income tax return account, clean daily club for the year ended thirty first March two thousand seven. Receipts and payments account for the year ending March thirty first two thousand seventeen. Two thousand seven is given. Receipt to payment. Receipt to payment. So balance brought down three thousand two hundred. Subscription twenty two thousand five hundred. Entrance fee is thousand two fifty. Donation two thousand five hundred. Rent of all is seven fifty. So sale of investments three thousand. So total thirty three thousand two hundred. Here payment side salary thousand five hundred. Rent eight hundred. Electricity three thousand five hundred. Taxes thousand seven hundred. Printing and stationery payments three eighty. Sunday expenses nine twenty. Books purchased seven thousand five hundred. Government bonds purchased. Ten thousand fixed deposit deposit the bank five thousand so closing cash four hundred closing bank thousand five hundred so receipt payment account tally the question is you have to prepare income and expenditure account you have to prepare what is income and expenditure account current year income and current year expenditure to be posted is there any capital expenditure should not be posted is there any capital receipt should not be posted. Okay, so capital expenditure and capital receipt should not be posted. Only revenue expenditure, current year, revenue income, current year to be posted, to be posted. So for this, we have to omit, we have to omit sale of investments. No, it is a capital receipt. Investment sold, capital receipt should not be posted, should not be posted. 
books purchased asset created capital expenditure should not be posted in the expenditure side government bond purchased investment capital expenditure should not be posted fixed deposit with the bank bank investment investment asset created asset created should not be posted closing cash in and 400 asset current year balance sheet should not be posted income expense account closing bank should not be posted opening cash in and should not be posted only revenue item to be posted only revenue item to be posted that's it let's see income and expenditure account income and expenditure account income and expenditure account so march 31st 2007 right so debit side so credit side credit side year expense expenses or expenditure year income to be posted okay debit all losses and expenses credit all incomes and gains okay only current year to be posted no capital asset no capital expenditure to be posted here okay no cash in and no cash in bank opening closing to be posted that's it right so right let's see one by one Expense side first you start with salary expense of 1500. So, is this current year expenses we paid and we have to take into account so, how much salary paid? 1500. There is no adjustment for salary, there is no prepaid salary, there is no salary outstanding, only salary. So, 1500. So, two salary, two salary, 1500 we can start with. Similarly, rent there is no prepaid, there is no outstanding, only rent. So, two rent 800, two rent 800. 2 rent 800. Similarly, electricity, there is no outstanding, there is no prepaid, only current year, 3500. 2 electricity. 2 electricity, 2 electricity, 3500, 3500. 2 taxes, 1700. 1700, 2 taxes. Printing and stationery, 380. 2 printing and stationery, 380. Printing and stationery. Printing and stationery. 380. 380. To be posted. Sundry expenses. 920. To so, sundry expenses. 920. Sundry expenses. 920. 920. Books purchased. Asset created. Capital expenditure. Balance sheet item. Balance sheet item. It is not expenditure. Should not be posted. Government bond purchased. Capital expenditure. Capital expenditure, asset created, should not be posted. Fixed deposit to bank, as a deposit to the bank, FD, FD. So, asset item, not a capital expenditure, not a revenue expenditure, not a revenue expenditure. So, capex. Similarly, cash in bank, current asset, 400, asset side, should not be posted. That's it. Come back to income side, receipt side. Opening cash, last year balance sheet asset, last year balance sheet asset, should not be posted, should not be posted. Subscription, 20 to 500, assume it is current year, current year, 20 to 500, is revenue receipt, revenue receipts. 20 to 500. So, by, by, by subscription, by subscription, 22,500. So, 22,500 by subscription, right. By entrance fees, entrance fees, how much ma? 1,250, current year, current year. By entrance fees, assume it's a revenue nature, entrance fees, revenue nature, revenue nature, how much ma? 1,250, 1,250. Next, donation, how much ma? 2500. I am assuming donation is revenue nature. Revenue nature, my assumption, assumption. Revenue nature, 2500. Okay. So, by donations, it is assumption, general donation. General donation. So, I may assume as a revenue nature. Revenue nature. It can be used for any purpose. Any purpose. How much? 2500. General donations. General donations. Rent of all. Recurring nature. Recurring nature. Revenue item. Revenue item. 750. Income. Income. By rent of all, by rent of all, rent of all, 750, 750, revenue nature, revenue nature, okay. Sale of investments, asset sold, asset sold, it is a capital receipt, capital receipt, it is not a revenue income, should not be posted, should not be posted, should not be posted, not be posted. that's it. I think everything I posted, I think, make a total, income side, 27,000 income side, income side total, here also 27,000. The missing figure or balance sheet figure is 18,200. 18,200. It is called, it is technically we used to call as a surplus. As a surplus. Surplus. But what is surplus? What is surplus? Excess of income over expenditure. Excess of income over expenditure is called 
surplus is called surplus that's it visit our website www.strategy.com for free content and video lectures